What's good YouTube? Welcome back to the channel Caspians. I am back with another video for you guys. Hope you guys are doing amazing. Hope all of you are blessed. Right now Cas is uh holding up pretty well. Still in a correctionary phase. Uh that is normal guys. We recently just hit the all-time highs for Cas. So corrections are normal, right? Um we can see that Cas is uh moving down a bit from this previous support level. It it broke down from this support level, guys. And, uh, you know, the next level would be 3, 6 cent. Hopefully we hit that support. The next level at 3, 6 cent, we hit that support and then consolidate and then bounce off of it. Similar to what we did on the 18th, right? That is what I'm hoping for. And, you know, Caspa is one of the strongest altcoins this cycle, in my opinion. New altcoins this cycle. So I think we're going to hold that support and then continue the trend from there. Caspians, if you're tuning in, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, share the video with your friends and family. And as always, I'm not a financial advisor. And again, nothing but blessings for every single one of you guys out there. Cash right now sitting at $780 million in market cap, $12.8 million in 24-hour trade volume. And again, like I said, we are correcting down a bit. The entire market is correcting as well. Typically, Cash but doesn't follow the broader market. But, uh, you know, after hitting a, a new all-time high, a correction would be normal. And, um, okay, so first off, I was going <laughs> to put this at the end of the video. But let's get right into it with this one. High, uh, high Vion Casper Pool is up and running. Enjoy daily PPS plus payouts. 50 cash minimum with zero transaction fees. It's our treat. So High Vion, let's take a look. Mining starts with High Vion. So High Vion, I'm... Uh, I think it's a, a, a mining pool, right? Casper pool is up and running. And then all of the miners out there that are tuning in to these Casper videos, you could get an, an additional 50 cas payout with zero transaction fees. They're, they're running a, a little incentive to get more and more people to mine with Hyvion. So that is a great start to, you know, that is super bullish guys. Anytime you are uh, looking the cast, you see there's more developments being done, more integrations being done, and uh, you need to support Casper Asics from Jeff and Hyvion very soon. Cast Digital Silver, Redman, yes. <laughs> so yeah, that is great stuff. Next we have from Dan, get your cast out of exchanges. It's clear as day, guys. We don't have to repeat this over and over again. We don't have to. Uh, it's clear to store. The best way to uh, store your cash is in cold storage with a tangent wallet. And if you you know you can't figure out the uh, hardware wallets, you could always store it through like the change wallet or the Casper wallet, right? The you know the Casper core wallet, right? But keep your Casper off exchanges. Okay, the safest place to store it obviously is cold storage, but never store your cash on exchanges just because you never know what could happen with these exchanges a lot of these exchanges are very sketchy and they could go down instantly similar to what happened with tx bit right mexi retrieved again the first spot among cash holders followed by kucoin and gate io they have each 3.25 percent of the total cash supply that's not great i get that exchanges are important for cash but they are indeed fantastic platforms to give everyone access to the coin but no exchange should have a high, such a high supply. Having such a high supply can compromise the decentralizations of a crypto. 3% is tolerable, but don't let them possess 5%, 10% or more. Not even mentioning the fact that they can be hacked too. Imagine having 1 billion cash stolen and dumped on you. So once you've brought, please transfer your cash and other cryptos to your cold wallets. If you don't know which wallet to use, you can use the official ones mentioned here. Let's take a look at that. Mobile friendly wallet, wallet caspernet.io, desktop wallet, kdx.app. My apologies for the noise in the background, guys. Construction work is going on. Take care of your beloved cast and keep them close to yourself. Not your keys, not your crypto. And, you know, this is, a, this is what we say all the time, time and time again in the space not your keys not your crypto don't keep your cash on exchanges you know um obviously there's going to be traders that trade short term that trade uh you know have short-term trades 
and uh, that is understandable but if you're gonna be holding straight into the bull cycle don't hold on exchanges guys withdraw your cash from all of these exchanges coinx kucoin gate.io mexi you name it right but as you can see that is how this if you think about it though that is how decentralized casper is <laughs> the biggest wallets of casper are centralized exchanges not even uh investors like you and me right that just goes to show you how uh distributed how well distributed the holders are in casper that uh you know the biggest wallets are the exchanges which is mexi kucoin and gate.io right <clears throat> that to me is actually very bullish but if you but if you have your cash on these exchanges guys withdraw them immediately casper resources casper wallets they have the web mobile wallet desktop wallet command line wallet and this is on casper.org change is also very good this is us uh, uh dapp swaps and third party wallets i like the change wallet and a lot of people like the tangent wallet as well right so uh we have the exchanges casper exchanges that it's listed on also mining pools etc so yeah that's uh pretty clear right space traveler the beastly engine you are putting together in an industry refined redefining masterpiece shy on cast nice image right here and we have a update from shy hi cast it's time for a much weighted uh rusty casper update remember guys we are uh the the developers are working on rusty cast to activate that 10 bps mainnet remember the te the test net is already up and running so next we have to keep working towards the 10 bps mainnet and we finally got an update from shy about it i know it has been a while since the last update but for good reasons after the huge push towards testnet 11 some key contributors went on much deserved summer vacations to work up their energy for the many challenges ahead nevertheless many exciting advances have been accomplished since the last update and remember these are just community devs that are putting together the work on cast man these people in the community that have learned development you know because casper is open source anyone could get in if you're a developer you could get in and help shy and other community devs build cast man that is so bullish to think about right we start with a short update regarding the efforts accounted for in the previous post the improvements to the peer-to-peer -peer layer have been completed and integrated and they have the github for all of these uh probably a lot of code that i don't understand <laughs> yeah pretty much <laughs> i have to learn code coding myself ad based implementation of local address management uh and they have other github updates wait ip prefix etc nice stuff man the, in the integration tests and mempool refactoring are, are advances towards completions uh, loosely speaking, the Rust node development is split into three efforts. Stress testing the network for higher loads. See how far we can push this envelope. Releasing a stable Rust node that will replace the GO uh, client on mainnet before any hard forks are made. Improving the API, making it much easier to integrate and develop our Casper. Awesome. Testnet 11 phase might seem not to have only been relevant to the first effort, but was in fact a culmination of all three. It was not just intended to witness high throughputs, but to uh, observe the performance of the Rust client in general. Since the last update, most efforts have been concentrated on the second and third fronts. Uh, some of the stabilizing efforts include fixing a bug that caused nodes to randomly freeze, closing in on the source of the bug required considerable effort. Okay, so they got the bugs, fi uh, one of the uh, tougher bugs out of it. The fix was actually rather simple. This was shared by the effort of Michael Sutton, Crypto Aspects, uh, T Rom, and again, guys, all community devs. The only way they get, I think, funding is if you know the Casper community crowdfunds them. The IBD with headers proof of mechanism has been tightened, and many checks were added to elevate the current implementation from a proof of concept to production level code. This has been worked on by Ori Newman during the last two weeks, and his work is being reviewed. The scripting engine and undergoing diligent scrutiny by TMR and Elishai. Right, so guys, every account that is on this post go follow them man because they're making casper what it is you know right now like they're the the, the uh, source code is there the foundation is there 
and they're taking their hard time and effort to make cast even better than what it actually than uh the base layer is right on the api front the javascript uh wasm sdk is entering its final stages of development some of the key elements include high performance web socket based rpc okay rpcs okay rpcs if you guys know about uh like uh metamask trust wallet uh, typically 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 with blockchains you have the RPC so that way you can enable smart contracts right so that's very interesting and API exposing the nodes UTXO processing logic to the client side extensible wallet architectures in particular BIP 32 architecture is already functional and usable okay nice they could be used for development in, in native Rust as well as JavaScript and TypeScript Implementations of various apps over the APIs, including the CLI shell uh, wallet, web wallet with terminal interface, and desktop app that extends to the terminal interface with a rusty Casper node and a CPU miner. Please note that these uh, applications are currently in beta. Some aspects are being worked on. It will be a few weeks before everything is stabilized for production use. Many of the uh, ideas, many details of how this work is progressing can be found here. And we have another uh, GitHub link, KOS and CLI, and you guys could go through the whole thing. Wallet storage, CLI handlers, wallet runtime, mass calculator, event strategical considerations, policies, and security considerations. Awesome stuff. Very awesome stuff. This is a combination of the efforts ongoing since December. Since December, they've been working on this, man. Uh, crypto aspect, surrender, Michael Sutton, Tyrum, Kofor stuff, uh, Ealer 10. With all that said and done, should be stressed that resuming test that 11 has been si has not been sidelined. Still some loose ends to tie up, but an update regarding the next high throughput experiment will arrive soon. Awesome. As usual, I like to take the opportunity to express a deep appreciation of the constantly growing group of code contributors and their hard work on ending diligence and bottomless experience can't stress that enough guys really can't stress that enough that they're putting in so much time and effort to make casper the most powerful blot dag dag night around the beastly engine you are putting together is an industry really finding masterpiece you know uh wiser words never been spoken man shout out to uh shy and all the rest of the community devs for all the hard work that they put in and again guys decentralized these are just people that have knowledge of coding that <laughs> volunteers to work on cast to build it to become even better than what it is and you know go for that go for that spot to take ethereum litecoin you know <laughs> Go for that number two spot just under Bitcoin, sitting nicely right there as digital silver, man. Uh, Caspian, thank you all so much for tuning in. That should, you know, we're going to cap off the video here. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. You guys are the best. Everybody that tunes in and supports the videos, I really appreciate every single one of you. Comment down below, share with your friends and family, become a channel member, and I'll catch you in the next one.